Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, the ninth generation of Pokemon games, have introduced a variety of brand new, never before seen Pokemon. Among those, and some of the most popular, are Armor Rouge, which is exclusive to Pokemon Scarlet, and Cerulege, which is exclusive to Pokemon Violet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get its base form, Char Cadet, and how to evolve it based on which version of the game that you're playing. Now, I am playing Pokemon Violet, so I will be evolving a Char Cadet into a Cerulege um, myself, but I will be showing you that if you are playing Scarlet at home, you can follow along with what I'm doing and I will specify the differences and uh, what you need to do to get the item necessary to evolve a Char Cadet after showing you where to catch one and how to get an Armor Rouge of your own. Now the first thing that you need to know is where I am right now. So I am here to, in the eastern side of the Mesa Gosa right here by the eastern entrance. Um, I would recommend highly that uh, you play the game just far enough to where you can go to the Uva Academy uh, or the academy that uh, you have in Scarlet, which is different, whatever, you do your academy thing, and then uh, as you leave, you'll be you'll be given the opportunity to go to three different campaign choices. You can do the the Starfall one, you can do the one with Arvin, or you can do the gym, uh, the gym challenge. It doesn't matter which one you pick, just move on and then do something. Um, once, you, once you've done that, you can come right here to Mesa Goza East, right where I'm at, okay? And make sure that you bring a variety of Pokeballs and uh, healing items and a Pokemon that might know a status type move, uh, I don't know, Thunder Wave or some sort of sleeping ability, something like that, just so that way you have the most effective means of obtaining Char Cadet, which will evolve, as I said, into Armor Rouge or Cerulege. Now, once you have all the items that you need and you are prepared and ready to go, there's a couple things that you should be made aware of. Char Cadet, which evolves into the Pokemon that we're after, uh, is all over the place. It is, it, it is everywhere, um, but it is very exclusive and solitary. And that, I mean, by the time that you've gotten to this point in the game, you should probably have already seen like a bunch of Hoppip or a bunch of other Pokemon that are clusters of four, five, six, etc. You might have even seen a breakout by now. Who knows? Um, but in any case, you won't see Char Cadet in clusters of Pokemon, okay? There might be a mass breakout at some point with it. I haven't seen one in my game, but I'm assuming that's probably a possibility. Um, but you will only see one at a time. Um, if you do run into a Char Cadet, I highly recommend before you engage it in battle to save it like you would like a, a legendary encounter from earlier generations of games. Because what happens is this, if you engage a Char Cadet in battle and you happen to knock it out and you don't catch it, you have to wait an entire in-game day cycle for it to appear again. Okay, that happened to me, so I'm going to show you two places where you can find it, um, just in case that happens to you. Now, anyway, once you've gotten all your items and you're ready to go, we're going to head out this exit, and I will show you two perfect spots where you can get it. Now, it's possible that you may have already encountered a Char Cadet at some point. Um, it does always spawn in the exact same place, but uh, if for whatever reason you've knocked it out, then you'll have to come back after a day and night cycle. And before you try, you can't go to the academy and sleep in your dorm. That doesn't pass the time in the same way. I, tr I tried that. I slept twice and uh, it was still nighttime. Uh, and that's when I went, I went into the academy at night, slept twice and it didn't do anything. So anyway, so first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna come over here. You can ride your, uh, your legendary or you can walk. It doesn't really matter, but you're always gonna find a Char Cadet right around this corner behind this tree. And there it is, okay? So this is gonna be the first one that you can run into right here, all right? So I highly recommend that you save it. I already have one, mine's at level 35, and I'm gonna evolve it in real time. I actually do not have a Cerulege on this save, so uh, I will be evolving that for the first time in this save file, um, the Char Cadet into that. Okay. If for whatever reason you run into bad luck and you knock that one out, or maybe it's not the gender that you want, that's okay. There is another one that you can uh, encounter right up here. And it is possible that there is more than what I'm showing you. These are the two that I've found, and they're just super easy. So if you happen to know more, or you have any other tips and tricks that uh, you would like to share, make sure you leave that in the comments section for other people, so that way they know uh, what other things that you found. Be mindful that uh, you, know, you don't want to share anecdotal stuff, which means like, oh, it happened to me, so it must happen for you. Um, that doesn't always apply, okay? Um, and here is the other one right here, okay? So you have two chances. Encounter the one down there or the one right up here, and then boom, there you go, okay? You capture it, you capture it, you get the gender you want, or maybe they're both the wrong gender that you are after. Whatever the case is, um, you'll have to wait for the day and night cycle to uh, 
go through one uh, one cycle and then you can come back and find them here again. There are a variety of other places that you can find Char Cadet. These are the only two that I found in this area and I feel like I was very thorough. If you found some in this area, maybe, I don't know, uh, highlight it on the map, take a screenshot, highlight it on a map and share it like through an Imgur link or something like that just so other people can see. Um, but those are the two spots that I found it, okay? Now, once you are done with capturing your Char Cadet, Okay, we need to do some traveling because we have to get some items uh, in order for us to uh, evolve it. Now, even though I'm playing Violet, I am going to show you guys um, what you're going to be doing if you're playing Scarlet first, just because I want to appease you guys as well. So over here in East Province Area 2, this is a pretty good spot. Just look for this little bridge. You're going to fly right over here. Now, the reason why you're going to this spot um, is because there is a pretty decent chance of running into Bronzor nearby. Now, if you're playing Scarlet and you're looking for Armor Rouge, you need to have 10 Bronzor Fragments, okay? And now, the Fragments are earned after you have uh, battled or captured a Pokemon. Anytime you encounter a Pokemon, and you probably already figured this out by now, that Pokemon has a specific item that it drops. Sometimes hair, talons, fangs, chips, fragments, whatever. There's a whole bunch of different things that it can do. So once you come over here, uh, or once you land in this spot, you're going to come over here. You'll want to be careful to avoid the wild Pokemon here, and you should be able to get a pretty decent jump right... Oh, I missed it, but you can get a... Oh, there we go. Perfect, I did get it. All right, you can get a perfect jump right over there, and you come over to this section. This area, day and night, is occupied by a variety of Pokemon. Specifically, you can find Bronze or over here. There's one right there. So all you're going to do is you're just going to see it, throw your Pokemon out there, beat it up, whatever, and, uh, and obtain the bronze ore fragment. As you can see, I just obtained one. I have noticed that sometimes when you encounter wild Pokemon like this, that you might run into... Oh, yeah, male and female one. I've not seen one of that before. Um, you might run into running, uh, obtaining more than one, like, fragment or chip or Pokemon material, whatever. You might get more than one after a battle. It's not common, but it does happen. Okay, once you've got your bronze ore chips, you're ready for the next step. So let's talk about Violet. So if you're playing Violet, as I am right now, instead of looking for bronze ore, you are going to want to look for Sinistee. Sinistee is a little bit more tricky, but there's a couple of different places that you can go for this. So regardless, uh, of what game that you're playing. You're going to want to talk to a, a trader, an item trader over here in Zappa Pico. I think I'm saying that right. So if you're looking for Sinistee, you're actually in luck. That Sinistee does spawn fairly close to Zappa Pico right over here. So we're going to fly there. If you have your uh, bronze ore fragments, then uh, you're you're good in this point. This is all for the violet people. But uh, once you get to the town, I notice something kind of interesting. There is a tree right here, that one right there, that spawns Sinistee. It is a very rare spawn, though. Within an hour, I only saw one, but it does show up. So if you farm it, you can find it here. So what I found is the most beneficial way to get Sinistee from this spot is to come here, Look around, you'll see one in this general area. It might be drifting off. I don't know. You'll just have to keep on looking. And then just come right back here to where it reloads the town name like that. And then you'll notice all the Pokemon that were there have disappeared. Then you go back out here and it regenerates the area and different Pokemon show up. You notice that there's a different line of Pokemon out here. And you're just going to keep on doing that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It is the earliest spot that I've found that has uh, Sinistee, and I know that it's frustrating, but this is, is honestly your best bet um, fairly early in the game without any heavy complications. There's a bunch of other Pokemon here that might be of interest to you that you can capture as well, but uh, I was able to find one, uh, a Sinistee, right here, so you can just kind of like farm for it if you want, okay? Again, it reloads the area, come over here, the city name pops up, and then you jump over in here, or whatever, and then just look around, do a 360 panoramic view, and eventually Sinistee will be here. I can't promise it'll show up while I'm showing you this now, but that is the way. Now, there is one other spot that I found that has Sinistee that shows up far more commonly. There it is. See, here we go. So there's Sinistee right there. So you'll see Sinistee right here, and uh, you'll be in good shape. Let's take a look at it. So the Sinistee that you see here is a fairly low level. You could probably capture it, uh, I would assume. Oh, no, I guess it's level 28. Okay, it's a little higher than I thought. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. It's level 28, so be prepared. That's good to know. The one that I encountered I thought was a little lower, but... All right, let's see if we can just finish this guy off real fast so we can move on. We're going to do Incinerate. 
Now, the Sinistee is also a very unique Pokemon, just as a side note. It has a, like, a phony version and, um, like, a legitimate version, which is kind of weird. There's a marking on the under underside of Sinistee that, uh, that confirms whether or not the cup is authentic rather than like a knockoff cup. It's very interesting. I'm gonna, I'll catch it just so we can take a look at it together and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, up in B, that's my uh, my typical superstitious thing. Boom, okay, so we caught it. There we go. I've only seen phony ones and I have caught dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of this. Okay, cool. So we got a Sinistee chip. Now, keep in mind, if you're playing Violet, you need 10 of these. See? Phony form. Unfortunate. I have not seen an authentic one. There is a marking on the underside of the cup. Um, if you do run into a bunch of Sinistee, you can actually, without engaging it in battle, you can kind of, like, bend the camera a little bit to get an up shot and see if on the underside of the cup, if there is a marking there. And if there is, that is a uh, authentic one. Cool. Hey, look. Another Sinistee. Okay, so that's great. So, yeah, if I get close enough... Uh, the hitbox for Maridon is actually pretty big, so it's hard to do that when you're not on foot. Let's see if I can run. Ah, getting me again. All right, let's just battle this one out, and then we'll move on. We're going to do Incinerate again. Might have to do this more than once. One more hit, and then we'll move on to the next step. Now, if you happen to be looking for uh, more Sinistee, if you're not having luck here, if for whatever reason RNG is not on your side, that was pretty quick to see two here. There is one other spot that I found that uh, was fairly beneficial. Hey, look, there's another one. Oh, no, it's not a... Sorry. Just kidding. Not a Sinistee. My mistake. Anyway, let's move on. All right, so the other spot, and this is a pain to get to in the early portion of the game. Um, if you want to try your luck at a Sinistee, you can go right where I've marked this flag, okay? El Fornada. So we're going to fly here. This is like a ridiculously difficult place to get to um, because it like this everything is like blocked off. The paths are all blocked. And if you're trying to get here, you have to go through the um, the cavern that leads up to the town right over here. I'll show you this. So if you want to get through this cavern, you won't be able to do it early in the game without any special uh, tricks. Uh, up your sleeve. I was able to get through this cavern by doing a couple of little tricks that I had found, like little bugs and glitches to get through here. One of which will be very helpful is like the uh, backwards jumping trick. Hey, look, there's a Sinistee there. So as you can see, there's Sinistee here as well. The backwards jumping trick, you'll notice like I struggle riding upwards, right? The backwards jumping trick actually circumvents that and lets you jump up and over. It's super helpful. If you're trying to get to hard to reach places, especially when you're trying to track down Sinistee like this, that's a good spot for you to try things out. There's a lot of ghost Pokemon in this town. Okay, there's another thing up here too that you'll want to try. Um, depending, like there's a really big ledge at the open mouth of this cavern and you won't be able to get up it. You can't jump up it even with that trick. It's just not possible. I tried for a long time just to confirm. But the trick is what you want to do is you want to do like a lock on to a Pokemon that's above you in the ledge. Okay, so for example, I'm going to go ahead and actually move Charcadet out of the way because he's going to get his butt kicked just to kind of show you. When you do a lock-on, you can see Pokemon like this. You see that? So, like, you do a lock-on and it grabs onto the name. If there's a Pokemon that's out of reach or on a ledge or, like, in a gap or a canyon on the other side and you can't reach it, this is ideal. All you got to do is lock-on like this and then you just throw your front-man Pokemon and it'll engage in a battle with it. Um, actually, I did the wrong one. I gotta do this one. There you go. Engage in a battle with it like that. And then it'll pull you and teleport you in front of that Pokemon. It's very, very handy. I mentioned this in an earlier video that I did. Very, very useful. But as I mentioned before, this town has a, a really high chance of running into Sinistee. But the problem is, is they're very high level. Um, relatively speaking, I guess. Between level 39 and 43. You can find them all over the place. So all you got to do is just kind of like wander around. Just be mindful that they are very, very small. And they're very easy to overlook. And sometimes the Sinistee here will sit in the grass too. So they'll be like on the ground. Like they sleep under trees. They lay down in the grass. It'll, it's very easy to overlook them. When I was doing this before I started recording this video, I got lucky and there was actually, yes, yeah, here's another Sinistee here. Um, there was a an outbreak, a mass outbreak of Sinistee and I ran into like over a hundred of them. See how, see how, well, yeah, level 43. Very, very, very strong. So if you're going to come here, you got to have some tricks up your sleeve and be prepared for uh, 
Pokemon types that can counter it very well. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be up the creek, etc., etc. Um, the mess outbreak that I had, just showing you real fast, was back here in the corner. No shinies, though. And after I caught dozens of them and I released them all, none of them were authentic. Very difficult to obtain. I see that TM. I'm not going to grab it, though. The uh, mass outbreak that I saw for Sinistee was right back here. There will be an icon on your map if there is a mass outbreak for you. Um, but just take a look around. Make sure that you are not in the city, but that you are in uh, Area 6, just like it said. And just come around here. Look around the grass. Ride around. But just be careful that if you're not uh, carrying Pokemon at a strong enough level, you could run into a lot of trouble. See, here's a Sinistee. There's a Sinistee. They are all over the place here. Very great place to, to, to farm for these and other ghost-type Pokemon. But okay, anyway, enough of that. So, uh, you've got your uh, Bronze or Fragments, you've got your Sinistee Chips, you are ready to go and get your Pokemon. So, let's go do that. So, we're going to go and pull up the map. Yeah, this is, this is really difficult. The path also takes a very long time to get to because everything is blocked off. Like, there's broken bridges, there's huge canyons, there's, like, cliffs and everything. It is a freaking nightmare. You have to go through the cavern and all the way around. Oh, it's, it's a nightmare. You'll see when you get there. It's not an easy path to take. Okay, so once you are done and you have your chips or you have your fragments, whether you're trying to get an armor rouge or a cerulege, whatever the case, you're going to come right back here. And I'll show you who to talk to. It's very easy. And we're going to do uh, the first ever evolution for this save file as well for me, too. So, Char Cadet, who I often call Charcuterie, Sapa Pico, is going to evolve by talking to the guy right in front of the water fountain. This guy right here. Okay, so he'll have a yellow box. Fancy a trade. Oh, it's a, I guess it's a woman. Whatever. Eh, you don't know what she identifies as. Okay, so you click on it. Hello there, child. I'm a collector of curiosities and a great lover of Sinistee, Tea, which is a Violet exclusive. This is where she was going to mention uh, Bronze Ore and wanting the fragments, and I showed you a place to uh, farm those, but there are other places you can find them as well, so it's not too difficult. I have a curio with a dark past, shall we say. It's yours for 10 Sinistee chips. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say yep, because I have like a, over 100. Okay, that'll do nicely. I feel more connected. Here's a cure. I promise you, careful with it. It's steeped in a potent malice. Okay, so you get the malicious armor if you're playing Pokemon Violet, but instead, if you're playing Scarlet, you're going to be you're going to receive the auspicious armor. I'm looking at my notes here because I forgot what it was called. So auspicious armor for Scarlet to get armor rouge, malicious armor for Violet to get through ledge. Okay. All right, there it is. A peculiar set of armor that can make a certain species of Pokemon evolve. Malicious will lurks within it. Okay. All right, so let's see. Where is the other items here? Battle items. Let's see. Pokeballs, medicines. Let's see. Whatever, whatever, other items. Okay, there it is. Uh, all right. So this should be, hopefully, yep, there we go. Alphabetical. Perfect. You'll notice as soon as I highlighted malicious armor, charcuterie over on the left there is highlighted. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use this item, and we're going to evolve him. And by this point, you should be able to take your Char Cadet and you can evolve it into Armor Rouge if you are playing Scarlet by now. Brilliant. And there we go. So we got it through Ledge. Rad Pokemon. Super duper cool. I love the style of this. Reminds me of Mega Man Battle Network and other franchise of games that I've played on my channel, which I adore so much. An old set of armor steeped in grudges causes Pokemon's evolutions. Religion cuts its enemies to pieces without mercy. Just the way I like it. Now, if you are looking to get more than one, or maybe you happen to be blessed by God and you were so lucky that you happen to run into like a shiny one and you want to get another one, uh, we're going to talk to her and buy another one of those uh, armor pieces. Of course, we're going to do Shadow Claw. Yeah, what do we have as far as armor here now? Nightshade, Incinerate, Flame Charge. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Ember. It's a little bit of a weaker attack. Excellent. Cool. So we got that. And we are set. That's our main. Now, she's still highlighted yellow, which means she has something to tell you so we can talk to her again. And then, yeah, so she just talks to you like she's never spoken to you before. And then we can do it again. Perfect. All right, cool. So I got another set of malicious armor. I'm going to go ahead and do one more just in case. Because I have quite a few of these. And I'm ready. That is one shiny that I'm going to be going after. I have heard, though, if you are shiny hunting for this, to be prepared the color of the shiny, uh, specifically for um, 
Char Cadet is barely noticeable, so you have to be very, very careful because you could very easily overlook it. But it's a it's a particularly difficult one to find, especially if you're looking for mass outbreaks and stuff. Mass outbreaks are very useful in that regard. However, mass outbreaks, despite having like a hundred plus uh, encounters and no time limit, it seems. It seems like you have to power through all the Pokemon. At least that's how it was for me. That might be anecdotal though. Uh, haven't wanted to do a single shiny with my multiple mass outbreak experiences, but nonetheless, that, my friends, is like the most deep dive that I can give on how to obtain Armor Rouge if you're playing Scarlet or Cerulege if you're playing Violet. I really hope that this was helpful for you. If so, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, of course. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I do reply to all comments, so if you have something to say, I will reply to you, at least with the initial comment. Um, also, if you do have some insight or tips or tricks or anything else regarding these methods that you think would be helpful for other people, let me know, and I will put that in the description box. Um, I will update the description box periodically with anything that I find useful or valuable that adds to this experience to make things easier for you guys. Always look at the description box, always, because I will put information in there that helps you uh, on your journey to evolve or you know whatever I think is, is valuable to know while you're doing whatever is in this particular video. In addition to that, there are some links in the description box that could also be of use to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and Nine Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. There's also a link to geekoutpost.com. That is a media blog that I own, operate, run, manage, design, and write for. It's a great place to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news, reviews, and rumors if you are into that kind of thing. Otherwise, just know I appreciate you and your time, and uh, I hope you were successful in finding your Armor Rouge or uh, your Cerulege. But uh, in any case, Thanks again, guys. Take care of yourselves. Be well. And uh, I hope to see you around the channel. Later.